Twin political storms gathered more force today over potential misdeeds at the IRS and the seizure of reporters' phone records. The attorney general faced questions before the House Judiciary Committee and the administration came under new criticism. Now, my question isn't about who's going to resign. My question is, who's going to jail over this scandal? House Speaker John Boehner led the way this morning as Republicans stepped up demands for action in the scandal at the Internal Revenue Service. There are laws in place to prevent this type of abuse. Someone made a conscious decision uh, to uh, harass and to hold up uh, these uh, requests uh, for uh, tax-exempt status. That followed last night's release of a report from the Treasury Department's Inspector General. It found the IRS used inappropriate criteria that identified for review Tea Party and other organizations applying for tax-exempt status based upon their names or policy positions. And there was more. USA Today reported that during the same period, the IRS approved perhaps dozens of applications from similar liberal and progressive groups. Mr. President. On the Senate Republican. floor, Republican Minority Mr. Leader Obama. Mitch McConnell pressed the White House to make sure the IRS the cooperates fully with congressional investigations. These allegations are very serious. If there was an effort to bring the power of the federal government to bear on those the administration disagreed with in the middle of a heated national election, it actually could be, could be criminal. And we're determined to get the answers. McConnell and the other 44 Republicans in the Senate signed a letter to President Obama demanding full compliance. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney said today the president is committed to getting to the bottom of what happened. He expects people to be held accountable if they engage in inappropriate activity, inappropriate conduct. Uh, he expects uh, the Treasury Department and the IRS uh, to take all the necessary actions to ensure that this kind of uh, thing cannot happen again. Please rise. I will begin. Attorney General saying, Eric Holder has already begun a criminal investigation into the IRS matter, but some lawmakers truth, see so larger patterns at work. Cincinnati Republican IRS Congressman Steve Chabot of Ohio. I believe there's been a, a pattern by, by this administration uh, in not taking responsibility for failures, um, avoiding blame, uh, pointing the fingers in somebody else's uh, direction. Um, would you agree with that? Uh, no. I thought you might say that. Um, I think a lot of people do, including myself, and I think a, a lot of members of this committee, and we might be divided, obviously, but these are very significant things which have occurred here, and I would strongly encourage this administration to get out front, get all the facts out, let the chips fall where they may. I would agree with that last, last part of your statement. Um, it is one of the reasons why I ordered the investigation last Friday, and I can assure you and the American people that we will take uh, a dispassionate view of this. This will not be about parties. This will not be about ideological persuasions. Uh, anybody who has broken the law will be held accountable. Still, House enough, Republicans have frequently accused Holder of stonewalling their investigations, the even citing hand, him for contempt. That bad blood was on sharp display when Holder's leading critic, California Congressman Daryl Issa, complained uh, the department to failed to, to hand over emails in another matter involving the Civil Rights Division. I will certainly look at the request. It's not something that I have personally been involved in, but I'll look at the request and try to be as responsive as we can. I'm sure there must have been a good reason why only the to and from parts were provided. Yes, you didn't want us to see the details. Mr. Attorney General, no, in no, knowing no, the to and from, typically do. knowing no, the to I'm and I'm not going to stop talking now. Uh, you know, yeah, Mr. Characterize something as something uh, that goes to Mr. The Chairman, of would you inform the witness the as to the rules of that this is committee? Appropriate and is too consistent with the way in which you conduct yourself as a member of Congress. It's unacceptable and it's shameful. Gentlemen, Holder also faced criticism from, from York, lawmakers on both advice. sides of the aisle about the Justice Department's decision to subpoena phone records from the Associated Press. It's part of an investigation into leaks about a failed terror plot last year. The attorney general says he recused himself from the probe early on because he was one of the officials who had access to the information that was leaked. Instead, he named his deputy, James Cole, to handle the matter. And Cole, in turn, made the decision to seek the phone records. California Democrat Zoe Lofgren pressed him on that decision. 
Well, this is both an ongoing matter and an ongoing matter about which I know nothing. Um, so I'm not in a position really to answer that question. But here's what I, I do think. I do think that at the conclusion of this matter, um, and when I can be back involved in it, that uh, given the, the attention that it has generated,